previous video, we had observed some simple phenomenon and we had asked a lot of why questions of why these things happen, right? In this video, we'll pick up one such simple scenario and we'll try to go through the process of what we call as the scientific method to see how scientists work in such questions after asking those why and how questions. Okay, my friend Arpit went to the market, got two small saplings and he planted them in two different pots. After a few days, he noticed that one pot had a plant which was a little unhealthy and kind of dry, right? And his question was, why did that happen? Why did one plant become unhealthy while the other plant seemed perfectly fine? And so he decided to try to guess why this would have happened. And his first guess was, could it be bad soil? But then he remembered he got the soil from exactly the same place. So maybe that's not the reason he kept guessing. He tried to think of another guess and he guessed, could it be less water? But wait a minute. He was like, I actually watered it every day, both the plants equally. So most probably that's not a guess that's worth testing. And then he came up with the third guess, could it be less sunlight? And he wondered, he knew that one plant was kept in sunlight and the other plant was kept inside a small shed with a small light bulb. So Arpit wondered, could this be the reason for why this plant wasn't surviving too well? And he decided now to get to the bottom of things and make a conclusion. And to make a conclusion, he decided to test this guess. So to test this guess, he designed a very simple test, what he called as an experiment. And uh, this is how it goes. He placed one of the plants in a dark room where there was no light, and he placed the other plant in sunlight. To keep things simple, he called this plant A and the one in the dark room plant B. So let's see what happened to plant B. Plant B started off like this. Now I've kind of turned the light on on the plant to just, you know, so that you can see how it is. Because uh, in the dark room, obviously, you can't see how it looks. So it started off like this, and soon the plant was getting unhealthier and unhealthier and even more unhealthier, and then it ended up like this. Well, so as time passed, plant B was getting worse and worse, right? What happened to plant A, the one that was in the sunlight? Plant A was like this on day one, and in a few days, it was like this, like this, like this, right? Plant A stayed the same. Plant A stayed healthy. Plant B died, right? Now, this gave Arpit the confidence that most probably this lack of sunlight was the reason for plant B to die, right? But he wanted to be 100% sure. So what did he do? He decided to get a lot more plants from the market and he did the same test with every single plant. And then that gave him the same results. And so when he noticed that every plant placed in the darkness died, he decided to conclude that plants cannot grow without sunlight. Not too difficult, right? Okay, what Arpit has been doing all along, all along is called the scientific method. Let's go through what it is. Let's just summarize using this example. So uh, here were our two plants that we were talking about. The first thing that Arpit did was to observe. He observed that one plant was unhealthy and the other one was healthy. And he started asking questions, right? And in this particular case, he asked the question of why is one plant unhealthy and why is one plant healthy? And then he tried to answer his own question with a guess, right? He initially guessed uh, could be bad soil, but then he wasn't too sure if he wanted to test that because there was no difference. He wondered if it could be bad water but or less water, but then he was like, I watered both the same. And then he came to his third guess, which was less sunlight. And that, te that guess seemed to be worth testing. So what he did was he began to test this guess using an experiment. And now, um, in this particular case, we know what the outcome was because we just saw it. But when you test any guess, when you test any guess using an experiment, you can end up with either an incorrect guess or a correct guess. What happens if your guess is incorrect? If your guess turns out to be incorrect, you need to go back and guess again. And you want to go through this entire circle of guessing the answer until guessing, testing, until you arrive at the correct guess. And once you've arrived at the correct guess, yay, you won.
right? And that's how science is done in our world today. Thank you for watching.